Hey guys, it's Product Slimmy, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. And again, Wilton is annoying us. It's amazing. Yeah, I know. Remoraid. Okay, I'm never gonna catch one. Why do you keep bothering me? Go away. This guy has no friends, I swear to God. Wow, this sounds so loud to me. And I'm sorry that um, I may have sounded a little bit quiet. I don't know. I looked at Camtasia in my last episode, and all the sound levels are, like, down. Why the fuck am I going this way? I want to go this way, because I just beat the gym leader. There's nothing else to do in this town, literally. I mean, I could go south, but I don't want that beef yet, so... Ugh, God. So, yeah, let's head this way. Really? Oh. I don't want to deal with this tonight. I, I mean, all these trainer battles that I'm skipping, I'm going back to train up. You guys do know that, right? For the final, final fight. That's what I'm doing. I think I have... Yep, naked. Naked shit all over this guy, because I have to fight one of these two knuckleheads. Them and their stupid looking bird statue Pokemons. Ugh. Like they just see the Pokemon champion walking by and they're like, oh let me go let me go start shit with him. That makes perfect sense. I mean I don't know. Aren't I supposed to be famous or something? I mean, I just beat fucking Lance, and I, I shit all over Lance. I mean, there's no denying that. I don't even think he knocked out one Pokemon. I absolutely shit all over Lance. Now, let's just... I'm just gonna switch to Obsidian, because Obsidian hasn't been getting much love lately. I don't know why. I actually really love Obsidian. I, lo I mean, I love all the members of my party, but Obsidian never fails me. Ever. Okay, maybe that one time. I think he failed me once, but that's really it. Okay, schoolboy Tommy. I don't want your number. Go away. Nobody wants you. And I swear to God, Fuzzy Dude 64 is impersonating Wilton on one of my comments. And he's like, hey, you know, my Sea King can go one on one with Randy Savage. Guess what, Fuzzy? You can't. You can't. It doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip over you. I'm gonna. Skip over you. I'm gonna skip over you. I just don't want this beef. I want to get to Lavender Town. I don't want to deal. I don't want a whole thing of you know trainer fights. And I could just go up here. Skip over that that fat stuff. If you go all the way up, you'll find a lady where she'll trade you um, a Chansey for an Aerodactyl. Like if you give her a Chansey, she's right there. The lady in the green. She's walking around. That's how you know she's not a trainer. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to fight this guy great. So, I'm sitting in my, my, uh, top. Yeah. He needs some training. Sitting is not doing so well with the levels. He's still a great Pokemon, but... Sorry about that. I got distracted for a moment. Uh... Oh, he has Sandy, too! That's cool. That's cool. I can appreciate that. Sand Slash is a decent Pokemon. Now, if you have, like, 30 of them, I might have something to say about that. I think it's not really doing the species justice that you have, like, 60. Eh, what the hell. What's he gonna do? Self-destruct? I mean, really? It's not gonna knock me out. Fan attack. I'm not as cold as I was in my last video. Because I have um, a spiced pumpkin latte and it tastes so good with it. So fucking good. And let me guess. Oh. Uh, yeah, oh my god. It tastes so good. It's from 7 Eleven, but whatever. Whatever. Who cares? Oh, yeah, see, see what I mean? Look, it's not gonna do shit. Look. Check it out. Womp, womp, womp. Yeah, you, you just sacrificed one of your Pokemon for nothing, kid. 
Alright, get out of here if you're 27 grabbers. I mean, holy shit, dude. Just trade them. I mean, if you self-destructed several gravelers, you might actually take me out. That might may have been your only chance of winning. To be quite honest, Hiker Kenny. You don't even look like your name is Kenny. And you're bald, and you're white, and you were black in your picture. What the hell is up with that? That just always bugged me as a kid. Oh, okay, fat stuff is going to block my way over there, so I have to go all the way over here. I really hate this part. Like, why did you put this here, Nintendo? Like, why? Who needs to walk around all these totem poles? I don't got time for that shit. I got badges to collect. I got my ultimate rival to fight. And, ooh, can I do a... Ooh, yeah. I don't feel like fighting those two up there, so... No riding battle. Good. I think... I think there's a guy coming up that's gonna surprise me. Somewhere over here. Ooh, let's get this. I haven't picked up an item in a while. Why not? Yeah, let's, let's get this. Whatever this is. Oh god, my body is not prepared for that creepy music that's gonna come up very shortly. Not prepared whatsoever. I hate that music. Oh my god, I'm going around this guy. I'm not even dealing with this guy today. It's gonna cost me a random battle, but I don't give a shit. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, now this is where you get the super rod. Does he know Wilton, too? Please tell me you know Wilton. I can see that you like fishing. Yeah, I fished, like, maybe twice. I I think the only time... Oh, 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 shit! I didn't mean to. Sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I'm just having flashbacks of when I fished in Mis yeah, Misty's gym. And, you know, I ran into a Krabby when I was trying to... Like, I don't even know why I did that. Like, that's not how you find machine parts. Remember, you can catch different Pokemon using different rods. Yeah, so now we can catch, like, level 40 Staryus and, like, Gyarados and shit. Nothing really that awesome. So, yeah, let's head up here. Oh, God, I'm not prepared for it. You guys know what's coming soon. You guys know what I'm talking about. Any kind of... Anyone who played first gen knows just how fucking menacing this town is. I mean, this town freaks me out. Even in second gen, it's like, oh my god. Oh my god. I, uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. You see, it even looks creepy. Oh my god, I hate this music. Like, it's good, but I hate it. Let's go into the Pokemon Tower. But you know what? They trashed it all down, all those graves of the Pokemon, to make a radio station. Yep. Sorry, but you can only tour the ground floor. Ever since Johto Radio Tower was taken over by a criminal gang, we have had to step up our security. It's like they got lazy at this point in the game. They didn't give you the Safari Zone. They didn't let you tour this town, this, you know, tower. And you know what? Like, they, like, for what? Honestly, what is the point in this? Right here. Yeah, I can get this and I can listen to the radio in Kanto. Not important. He has a creepy ass laugh. Hey there, fellow. I am the super music director. I don't care who you are. I really don't. You look like just every other average Joe I've ever fought. But anyway, yeah, so they knocked down all these graves to make, you know, a radio tower. Priorities, people. Is this guy going to tell me about White Hand? That's quite some building, eh? It's Kanto's radio tower. Yeah, it used to be a fucking graveyard. Oh, God, I started it again. I fucking hate that. Oh, my God. The only guy I like in this town is Mr. Pokemon, because he's cool. Look at all these Pokemon he's got. What is this, a Pidgey? Yeah. I think that's... No, Cubone's over here. Oh, that's a Psyduck. That doesn't even look like a Psyduck. And a Nidorino. Okay, at least that kind of looks like Nidorino. And, uh, the only thing we're really gonna do here is go right here. P. 
People come from all over to pay their respects to the departed souls of Pokemon. Yeah. This this is where they condensed, they consolidated all those dead Pokemon bodies into this little tiny thing. And it's sad. Let's go talk to the people. I came with my mom to visit Pokemon graves. Okay. That's not creepy. Not even your Pokemon. There are other graves of Pokemon here. I think. I think. What do you mean? What does this look like to you? Does this look like a big, like, party? Does this look like a department store? There are many chambers that only Mr. Fuji may, may enter. Okay. I wish I could go in there. The Pokemon that lived with me. I love them like my grandchildren. Aw. That's sweet. I feel like that way about my animals. I love my animals. This is Mr. Fuji. Mr. Fuji is a fucking badass. I don't care what anyone says. He lives in this town. He deals with spirits. He takes in, you know, orphan Pokemon. And he's gonna give me the, the Poke Flute. So I can go wake up that fat stuff. Oh, wait. No, you're not. Well, shit. Um, where the fuck do I get the poker flute? This guy? Lavender is a tiny, quiet town at the foot of the mountains. It's gotten a bit busier since the radio tower. Yeah, that's kind of what happens when you build a radio tower. Why didn't you just say no? This guy just name rates your Pokemon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to change my Pokemon's names. Okay, my Pokemon's names are perfect. All right. I don't need it to be like vagina slap or anything like that. I'm not ready for that. You need a Poke flute to wake up sleeping Pokemon. Every trainer. Yeah, but where the fuck is it? Holy shit! Where the hell do I get it? Where do I get it? Mr. Fuji. Hello, you're supposed to give that to me. How are you gonna give that to me? Oh, do I get it from his son? But he's not home now. He should be at the Soul House. Yeah, I went to the Soul House, asshole. Oh god, I don't want to end this episode off in here. It's, it's kind of, town creeps me out. There's all these stories about Lavender Town Syndrome, and that that song literally did menace me as a child. Hmm, you appear to be raising your Pokemon in a kind, loving manner. Lovers come here to pay their respects. Please offer condolences for the souls of the part of Pokemon. I'm sure that that will make them happy. I did. I did. Holy shit. Okay, guys. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna come up here. So I'm getting kind of creeped out. Oh, God. They even used the creepy terrain up here. Okay, guys. I'm gonna stand here so I don't have to listen to that music. I guess I'll meet you guys later. Now that we made it to Lavender Town, because I need to figure out how I get this Poke Flute. And, um, you don't even have to bother telling me in the comments, because, uh, like I said, I would do this all in one big recording session. So, yeah. Well, just so it's not too short. Lavender Town is at the foot of Dark Tunnel. And, uh, yeah. Pretty much. Nothing really too exciting about Lavender Town, other than the... Well, in this game at least. No ghosts, no Team Rocket, no nothing. And there's no gym here either, so it's just kind of like one of those creepy passerby towns. Alright, guys. You can't even catch Poke ghost Pokemon here. Isn't that shitty? I mean, I actually... I like this music better. For Lavender Town. It's not as bad, but just the... The beginning still freaks me out. It's like, ugh. Alright, guys. I'm gonna go for real this time. Alright, I'm gonna just stare at this, uh, tree, whatever the fuck this is. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye!